national anthem next season. Multiple Dolphins players knelt this past season, and Ross said he initially supported their actions but changed his opinion because he felt the message being said by players was unpatriotic and anti-military. Shannon, what's your reaction? I'm disappointed in Stephen Ross because Stephen Ross is falling into the trap that many Americans have fallen into, Skip. Yeah. Rather than backing his players, he's backing the coverage in which the players have received. Where is that outrage that he has for his players kneeling in protest of the police killing unarmed black men and women? Where is that outrage to fix the problem? You see what this is, Skip? The message did not change. Colin Kaepernick and anybody that's nailed, kneeled never said anything about the military. As a matter of fact, they've gone out of their way they to have. say they have the most utmost and profound respect yep. for the military. Yep. I don't know how. I do know how. What happened was, Skip, is that the issue that they were protesting, yep. a lot of Americans didn't like. A lot of NFL owners didn't like. So they mm -hmm. shift the narrative to make it about the military, to make it about the flag, to make it about the veterans, when it was never, ever about that. Mm -hmm. They know that. They know it's not about... Where is the military kill, killing unarmed black men and women? Because if they were doing that, I can, I can assure you, that's what the players would be protesting. Yeah. But that's not what's happening. So in order to, not, to get you to not talk about the issue at hand, yeah. let's make it about the flag. Skip, even when blacks were fighting in World War II, they were fighting side by side with their white countrymen, mm -hmm. and then they had to go live in separate barracks. When they came back, they were second-class citizens. They, were. they didn't protest that. Yeah. But now, here we are 70 years later, now black athletes want to protest the military. Mm -hmm. They want to protest the flag. No, they're protesting issues. See, and every time the military, and you hear these guys, these servicemen and women, they go fight, they tell you, we're fighting. They're not fighting for the the physical flag. Yep. They're fighting for the representation. Mm -hmm. What does that flag represent? Yeah. That's what they're actually fighting for. Yeah. And if that flag, and it, granted, it represents a lot of things to a lot of different people, but first and foremost, freedom and opportunity. That is the first and foremost thing that it should represent for everybody. Mm -hmm. If everybody does not have that freedom and those opportunities, shouldn't we protest? James Baldwin said, you know what? I love America more than I love any other country. And for that reason, I've earned the right to criticize her when I don't think she's doing right by citizens that live here. Mm -hmm. Stephen Ross, come on. Skip, he made these comments at the, he was getting the Jackie Robinson Lifetime Achievement Award. Think about this now. That he was getting the Jackie Robinson Lifetime Achievement Award. But this is what Jackie Robinson said in 1972. He says, I cannot stand and sing the anthem. I cannot salute the flag. I know that I'm, in a, bl I'm a black man in a white man's world. Mm -hmm. I wonder if Stephen Ross actually knew that Jackie Robinson uttered those words. Mm. I feel very comfortable in saying he did not. Mm -hmm. He does not. The narrative has not changed for what these players are representing. You and a lot of others like you, Stephen Ross, change the narrative mm -hmm. because you do not want to address the issue mm -hmm. in which these players took a knee, sat down for. That's mm -hmm. it in a nutshell. Hmm. I got to tell you, when I first read this story this morning, it felt like a Saturday Night Live routine. It felt almost funny if it weren't so sad. It's laughable what just happened and the circumstances under which these quotes were just uttered. <laughs> that Stephen Ross is in New York City, staying at the Marriott Marquis on Times Square, and he's approached by a reporter from the New York Daily News ahead of getting a, a, an award from the Jackie Robinson Foundation on which he is, or for which he's on the board of directors so he's getting a Lifetime Achievement Award, and he has been long known as a longtime champion of equal opportunity. This is Stephen Ross. Mm -hmm. And just ahead of getting this award, he says to a reporter from the New York Daily News, 
our players will stand next year for the anthem. And without, it, it takes you long to read all the quotes, but he's saying that the message changed when our president's tweet, well, it was through the tweet. He didn't speak out. It right. was through the tweet and what he said in, where was it, Birmingham? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And <laughs> Stephen Ross is saying that President Trump changed the message. And once he changed the message, then Stephen Ross decided, well, that's the new message. No, it's not. No, you, you can't say that. Stephen Ross, I, for years, I <coughs> considered him the one of the 32 owners yes. most open-minded to players' rights and, and their, their freedom to speak their yeah. minds. Mm -hmm. I thought he was the most encouraging of all 32 owners, and it's really not even close. close. Joy Taylor, you worked there. Can you back me on that? I, I, I once thought that as well. Thank you. So, <laughs> so now he's saying... That's how I think the country now is interpreting the kneeling issue, that it's anti-military and anti-America. So now, what? Stephen Ross, what? You, by you saying this, you said because President Trump changed the narrative. He did. That's what this is about now. He said once he changed the narrative, that was it. it was, think about, it's game over. George, does he realize what, what he said? I don't, I don't, I'm... Quite sure Stephen Ross is not aware of what he said. He does he realize, so. although the players, this is, okay, although the players, they knelt in protest of the killing of unarmed black men or minorities or people of color yeah. but at the arms of, at the hands of police, because President Trump changed the narrative and made it about the military and the flag, mm -hmm. that's what people think. So, although I know these players' message hasn't changed, he changed the narrative, so I'm going with that. Mm-hmm. So, three Dolphins kneeled fairly consistently. Last. Right. I'm not sure they kneeled every game, but they pretty consistently kneeled. Yes. And it looks like two of them, Julius and Michael Thomas, might not, might not be, be on with the team. the team. But that leaves my man, Kenny Stills, that I know from the University of Oklahoma. And Kenny Stills, I have high regard for. And he is a member of the Players Coalition. He is. That's, that's met a lot with the owners and okay. the commissioner yep. about this issue and about the communities in the African-American community. And Kenny Stills, as we know, is very outspoken on very. social media. Yes. And he's got a deep mind and a big heart. Mm -hmm. And he's, he is fearless when it comes to this issue. So I'm not sure that Stephen Ross has had any conversation whatsoever with young Kenny Stills. Mm -hmm. And I'm pretty sure that this came across to Kenny Stills like an edict. You know, yeah. like, this is how it's going to be. We team. will stand. Yes. As a team, we will stand. Well, I can't wait to hear what Kenny tweets or posts or whatever about this or what he tells the media. I just, I wish the NFL had a more close relationship mm -hmm. with his players like the NBA. Now, it is mandated and it's bargained that the players in the NBA will stand. But Commissioner Silver mm -hmm. encourages the players to speak their mind. And the highest of profile of players, LeBron James, Kevin Durant, mm -hmm. uh, Steph Curry, they speak. Not going on here. No. And, but Skip, and, and by the way, it now feels like each NFL team has some policy. It's like each owner is having to issue right. a policy for his. There's no blanket policy for the NFL. The commissioner hasn't addressed this. It appears to me, and maybe Skip, Joy, you can correct me if I'm wrong. Stephen Ross is basically saying, look, we gave you some money for the communities, because mm -hmm. this is what we're trying to buy. And they we, did. They, 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 partnered they, they, to they agreed to. to. I'm not sure it's happened yet. We, we partnered to get you up off a of knee. Okay, but there are a number of players who balked at that, quote, unquote, handshake agreement yes. that they made, right? Yes. And I just can't, I cannot believe that Stephen Ross, he actually verbalized this. He put this out because President Trump changed the narrative. So even though it didn't change what the players were actually protesting, the issue still is unresolved. Okay. So I'm pretty sure if I can translate what Stephen Ross is saying, that as an owner of an NFL team, he has decided a majority of his customers believe that's what the protest was about, that it was anti-military and anti-flag, yeah. right? So he's saying 
if a majority of my customers believe that, then I got to believe that, and we will all stand for the anthem. And that, I'm, he has, right? I'm pretty sure he has access to those, those yeah. three gentlemen to go have a conversation with yes. them and ask them mm -hmm. why uh, they're kneeling. Well, while he's on this campaign of a complete lack of self-awareness, starting with the fact that he's accepting an award for uh, improving race relations and driving social progress from a foundation that represents one of the most influential yeah. and powerful mm -hmm. black athletes in history, yeah. he also took the time to say that Miami is a great city, but not a great not sports a, he town. He said that. Uh, yeah. Since he's on the team, they've had two wild card appearances and blowouts. Uh, can't tell the history of the NFL without the Miami Dolphins, the Miami mm, Hurricanes. Mm, may, 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 maybe you the, maybe the problem is you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. No. Mm. A little, little self-awareness, a little too less in my clean Wow. Mm. Who's to blame for the Lakers' fourth quarter collapse last Ooh. night? We'll discuss that next. Mm. Mm.